haters, uh, high haters. Yeah. This is my world, so it's all in my favor. Yeah. I like all girls, yeah, all type of flavors. Alrighty, what is going on, guys? It is Dunks Friends today, bringing you guys another video. And man, does it feel good to be back making a video. Now, I know that I made a video in a minute. I definitely haven't made a video with a lot of commentary in a minute. That Fortnite video was just kind of a bit of a joke. I didn't really know what to upload. And honestly, I've really been kind of trying to keep myself from uploading. I know that may sound weird, but the reason I'm doing it is so I'm really, I'm going to be fresh on uploading. And when we get to the World War II launch, which is what this video is about, um, I'm going to be really ready to just pump out content and do all that because usually my problem is I make a bunch of videos before and I'm on the consistent grind trying to get myself into the grind and I'm just burnt out at that point and I just am kind of like eh it's not really going anywhere I don't really want to do that and I don't want to do that again because I think my thing is if um I'm if I'm coming into it right at the World War II launch I think and I see myself not having a lot of success in making videos I think I'll be okay with it but anyways let's get past that that's not what this video is about I know this is kind of weird, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War 2 and having Madden 18 gameplay. Now, I'm just kind of making this because I already uninstalled Black Ops 3, and I don't want to play Infinite Warfare because I just I just don't want to, man. I'm just kind of trying to stay away from Call of Duty so that I'm, I'm super excited for it and ready, you know? And so I'm just playing a bunch of Madden. I've been playing tons of Madden over the past week or so. I've been enjoying it a lot, man. Um... If you saw my team in the start, it's not actually an 83 overall, it's an 85, but I'm doing the gauntlet challenges where you have to have a certain chemistry to do them. But anyways, let's let's talk about World War II. So I guess, more importantly, what I want to talk about this video is just kind of about what my plan is, or not what my, no, 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 sorry, not what my plan is. What I want to talk about is just the game in general, because... There's a lot of things that I think a lot of people don't know, and I think for me, I've been watching tons of World War II content over the past couple days just because of how excited I've been. I can't contain my excitement for the game. I mean, I'm literally so excited. Like, I, I, I seriously cannot explain how excited I am to to be so close to having it. I mean, we're nine days away as of recording this. I'll probably upload it on Thursday, so we'll be eight days away, but... So I guess my first thing I want to talk about is when you launch World War II. When you launch World War II on launch day or whenever you get the game, when you launch multiplayer for the first time, I guess I'd say, you will be launched into headquarters, which is their version of like a de the Destiny Destiny's Tower, I guess you could say. That's what most people are comparing it to. Um, basically, it's a social space for where everyone will be able to gather. You'll be able to open supply drops, prestige, uh play one-on-ones in there, test score streaks, do all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. And there's not a lot that's so important in that. You're basically just going to go on a little quest where you go meet a bunch of people like you would in Destiny um, when you first go to the tower, and you get a free supply drop. Now, supply drops are going to have, you know, camos, probably emblems, um, and just the usual stuff, calling cards, you know, thanks for calling cards, just basic stuff like that, and it's going to have weapon variants. Now, the weapon variants are not what we're used to. They're not advanced warfare weapon variants or, um, you know, your average weapon variants that you're used to. These are going to be cosmetic only where it only affects the weapon. Now, for camos... Um, all the camos earned through challenges are going to be time specific. So, you will not get any crazy neon pink or animated camos or anything absolutely crazy in through the challenges. Now, through supply drops, it's not confirmed yet. They don't really say anything about supply drops before launch just because supply drops are kind of a sore subject in the COD community and that's just kind of how it is. Um so, but the camos have been leaked, most of them. Most of the ones people think are going to be locked through challenges. And Chrome has been confirmed, I'm pretty sure. And Chrome, my guess is that Chrome is going to be our version of Dark Matter for World War II or our version of Dark Galaxy or whatever it was called. Solar Sun, whatever it was called. And, uh, and Infinite Warfare. So 
I'm definitely going to be getting that if I enjoy the game, man. I'm super excited. And, of course, we have our divisions, which I'm not going to go through and explain all the basic stuff. I'm just kind of going to talk about random things, whatever kind of pops into my head. Um, one thing I'm super excited about, man, if you have not pre-ordered that game, if you're planning on picking it up in a store or, you know, just on launch day or buying it the day or it comes out or whatever, I would 100% urge you to buy it on console ahead of time. You're going to play the exact same price. You can pre-download it on your console so you'll have it ready on launch day. So you won't have to wait the hour and a half or hour, whatever it takes to download it. You'll be able to play it right away whenever you want. Um, as well, this is a big thing, man. This is a huge thing. For pre-ordering the game before November, it's like if you pre-order the game before November first or something like that november 2nd maybe you are going to get a double xp token that lasts for four hours so you will get four hours of double xp and you will get a permanent unlock token now that's getting a permanent unlock token like you would get after you prestige so you could literally unlock the thompson right away off the bat you can unlock the mp40 right off the bat you can unlock anything you want you could even unlock a basic train if you wanted to i mean that'd be kind of silly but you could do it if you wanted right Anything you want, it's just like a permanent unlock token you would get after prestiging. Um, now, I have one question about the double XP token that I don't know yet. Is is the XP token redeemable or does it automatically go when you launch the game? That's what I don't know because hopefully I want I, I hope it's redeemable because for me, I'm waking up at like 2 in the morning, 1.30 in the morning on launch day and I am going to be playing the game that whole morning, right? And I'm going to be staying up late that Friday, as late as I can, you know, with... I mean, if I stay up till 12, that's getting, you know, that's being up for 22 hours or so, whatever, right? So, you know, kind of got to keep it on, you know, moderation. But what I'm going to be doing is <laughs> I'm going to be uh, taking NyQuil at about 7 o'clock or so on Thursday. And then I'm going to wake up. I'm going to go to sleep by 8 and wake up at 1.30. That's exactly what I did for Destiny 2, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing for World War 2. And again, like I said, I don't know if this double XP token is redeemable or if it automatically starts when you start the game. I'm assuming it automatically starts, but I, I mean, you never know, I guess. Um, and then the permanent unlock token, I don't know what I'm going to unlock. And I, I would say the Thompson or the MP40. We never did get to try the MP40 out in the beta, so I maybe would say the Thompson... But I'm a little bit nervous to pick the Thompson because the SMGs were nerfed from the beta. So the SMGs are not going to be the same in case you guys didn't know that. They're going to be a little bit different. Um, and they were nerfed for the PC beta. But the PC beta doesn't really prove anything because that's with a mouse and keyboard where literally you, anyone can have precision accuracy with any weapon because you have a mouse. There's not really – the recoil is super manageable, not like with a joystick. So that doesn't really give you a good good example of it, you know, it – you're just gonna have to kind of find out on launch day. So I, I don't know. I'm definitely think I'm gonna go airborne like I did in the beta. I really want to find all about what the classified SMG is. I also really want to try prestiging a division because if you guys did not know, the achievement list was leaked for Call of Duty World War II. Like the you know the achievements you would get for an Xbox game or whatever, like complete a mission or whatever. Like that was those kind of achievements and. One of the achievements was to prestige a division. So I don't know what that's all about. I'm assuming you prestige a division, you may be able to like have your calling card or wear your emblem on your guy's uniform or whatever, or you get extra gear, something like that. It's probably not anything crazy, but I just kind of want to see what it's about. Of course, I want to prestige as early as I can. Um, and yeah, so another thing I want to talk about is at the end of a game, if you did not know now, the kill cam is replaced with a play of the game. So it's much like Overwatch, if you ever played Overwatch, where they uh, have it to if, like, I don't know, if you got a triple kill or you got, like, a collat with your sniper, that would be the final kill cam. It wouldn't be a basic kill with a PPSH for final kill. It'd be the play of the game. So, I mean, if you don't understand what I'm saying, then I literally think you're special and I don't know <laughs> how else to explain it any better. But anyways... I don't know, man. Like, it's really weird because if you ever watch gameplay, you always see it's a bronze star. They, like, rank it kind of. There's bronze star. I'm assuming there's silver and gold, but that's what I don't know because I've never seen a silver and gold. Like, I've seen people get quad feeds. I've seen people get five mans in their in their play of the game, and they it's bronze. So I'm wondering if 
there's certain achievements for getting higher ranked kill cams, and they just didn't have that available in the beta, which is very possible that's the truth. Now, I don't know, man. I'm just super excited. And then also, let's talk about prestiging. So, when you prestige, right? When you prestige, you prestige in front of everyone at headquarters. You go on top of the hill or whatever in headquarters. You go on top of some hill. I don't even know. But you go on top of the hill and you prestige. And I assume... I mean, I, I don't know. I assume it alerts the players in there that someone's prestiging and they can all look up and see that someone's prestiging. It's supposed to be a big ceremony and they're trying to make prestiging worth something. Now, my opinion is if they want to make prestiging worth something, they should probably give you rewards for prestiging. But I don't know. That's just my opinion. But supposedly there's supposed to be 10 prestige levels and I think there's 50 levels per prestige. But don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, but I'm so hyped, man. I'm so excited for this game. I cannot explain it again, man. If the game is good, I'll be making so many videos on it. Hopefully, hopefully it's well received. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just so excited, so excited to, uh, to get a Call of Duty that I like again, man, because I thought the beta was so much fun. I, I did hit max level. I hit level 35 in the beta. However, I... I didn't really want to grind it so much because I didn't want to burn myself out on it, you know? So I didn't play it that much, but I did hit max level 35. Um, like I said, I'm definitely going to go airborne. Uh, I'll probably permanently unlock the Thompson. Although, I don't know if they'll change the levels of what you unlock stuff because the PPSH you unlock to level 2 in the beta. So, who knows if that's when you unlock it in the real game. But if you do, then I don't even know what I'll permanently unlock. Because the PPSH was honestly one of the best guns in the game. The SMGs were so overpowered. I mean, they had the, the WAF-28, the PPSH-41, the M1928, or the Thompson. Like, so many good guns, man. And honestly, the Grease gun was good, too. It just, it's really good. It just wasn't as good as those other SMGs. So, it didn't get the love those other SMGs got. But... I don't know, man. I'm so hyped. I can't wait for the game to come out. Um, comment your guys' thoughts below. Like the video. Subscribe. Do all that stuff if you made it this far. Anyways, guys, it's been Dunks Frenzy bringing you guys another video. Hope you guys are as hyped as I am. And as always, stay classy.